Texas. A motivational speaker and child advocate from Houston, Texas, I am Chelsea Smith. There they are, 51 of the most outstanding young women in the USA. And when we return, tonight's competition begins as we reveal the 12 semifinalists for the title of Miss USA 1995. Miss Texas, Chelsea Smith. Wow. Than any other state, and this crowd obviously thinks Chelsea could be their seventh Miss USA. All right. Miss Texas. Well, I was actually raised by my grandparents, and probably the most important thing they ever taught me was to be proud of my biracial background. Next, we have Miss Texas, Chelsea Smith, 21 years old, elementary education major from Houston, also interested in motivational speaking. Now, it's interesting to me, when you won the Miss Texas title, the press referred to you as an African-American, and you took uh, umbrage to that. What was that about? Well, I am biracial, and I'm half black, half white, yeah. and even though I was so proud to be acknowledged as African-American, I also have another side to my family, and I really would have felt bad, and I know they really would have felt bad if I would have left them out, because it was so important, because actually the Caucasian side raised me, and I really need to recognize them. And so you just want to make sure that the distinction is still there? Exactly, yeah. yes. Now, it says that you're also a motivational speaker. Who do you speak to? I speak to a lot of youth, a lot of inner city youth, actually. And I speak a lot about, on a lot of topics of biracial, being biracial, um, just racism topics, and just having fun in school, and just being yourself and being proud of who you are. You just go, like, elementary schools? Elementary school, junior high, and high school level. What's the most responsive audience? Junior high. They love you. Actually, because elementary school, they're kind of getting into um, a lot of topics that I'm talking about. Yeah. And junior high, everybody's starting to kind of identify with each other and f find out what peer group they want to be with. Right, right. Okay, great. Thank you, Chelsea Thank Smith. Miss Texas. Step over there. The judges will lock in their votes. Okay, ladies, thanks a lot. That completes our first six interviews. We'll be back. You guys, so how many of you have boyfriends at home? Not here. <laughs> Yours is here? Oh, my God. Talk about the pressure being on. Hey, hey. Come on over here. I have a question for you. Yes. Okay, so Texas has won the most contests, six. You, sh you should be the seventh. You could be. I hope Is so. the what pressure on with that? Like, does that make the pressure even worse now? Well, yes, because a lot of people go, okay, what about Gretchen? What about, you know, all these people? So, um, <laughs> but on but top of it all, it's in your hometown on top of it. Yes, I'm going to try my best. It's all I can do. All right. You guys, I know you have to go run and get ready, so I'm going to let you go. And congratulations, by the way. Anyway, I can't tell you their scores just yet until they're safely back in their dressing room. So we're going to take a look at the numbers as soon as we come back. I promise you, you'll be the first to know, okay? And we're also going to have the rest of the interviews right after this work from Oil of LA Bath Bar. So different from soap, it actually helps hold moisture. All right. As promised, folks, the scores for the first six interviews are ready. So let's see how the judges rated them, okay? Here we've got Texas, followed by New York following very closely. Oklahoma, those are the top three. Nice score for Texas, by the way. I don't know, the hometown has been on top so far, have you noticed? Now, keep these scores in mind and see how they compare to the scores of the next six semifinalists, okay? You're about to see them now as we continue with the interview competition. Bob? Okay. And the delegates himself elect Miss Congeniality. This year's $1,000 award and Miss USA trophy went to Chelsea Smith of the whole state of Texas. I know you couldn't leave now, even if you wanted to, because the most beautiful part of the show is coming up, the evening gown competition. Miss Texas.
That's three of them. Three more to go. One of them goes to Miss Texas, Josie Smith. Jalik, step back, please, and we bring out Miss Texas, Chelsea Smith. All right, digging deep. And Chelsea comes up with judge number 10. That is you, Jim Jeffcoat. Yes. Miss Texas, there's a renewed interest recently in passing a constitutional amendment to allow school prayer. Do you think that's a good idea? Well, I am very religious myself, and I am a Christian, and I do believe that if you are religious yourself and you would like to pray in school, you should be allowed that, that choice. Taking it out fully, I think, is wrong, but you still should be allowed that choice. Okay, Chelsea, stay right there, please. Judges locking in their votes. Thanks, Miss Texas. Now, Miss New York, Shana Mopler. Miss Texas, Chelsea Smith. We bring out Miss Texas, Chelsea Smith. Chelsea, here's the question. Recently, Hillary Clinton consulted a group of female journalists about changing her image. If you were her advisor, what would you suggest that she do? I would tell her not to change her image, actually. Um, I believe very strongly in who I am, and I've seen 50 ladies tonight who believe very strongly in who they are, and I really think that Hillary Clinton wouldn't have made it as far as she has if she wouldn't have been herself. So I really, truly think she should stay exactly the way she is. All right, Chelsea, thank you. Right over here, and finally, we have Miss Illinois, Nicole Holmes, Miss Texas. And finally, Miss Illinois. All right. <laughs> And then there were two. Wow. Yes. Now, as I'm about to reveal the name of the first runner-up and the new Miss USA, we have to remind you about the importance of the first runner-up. Very That's important right. job. That's right. You see, because if Miss USA can't complete her reign for any reason, and of course, there is the possibility that she could be crowned the new Miss Universe on right. May 12th in Namibia, in Southern Africa, <laughs> then that means that our first runner-up will become the brand new Miss USA. All right. Here we go. Ladies, you ready? Take a deep breath. This is it. The first runner-up is Miss New York, Shana Mocker, Chelsea Smith, you are the new Miss USA. Chelsea Smith, you have done it. You are the new Miss, Miss USA 1995. The cash awards, the prizes, everything worth over $200,000. They're all yours. And you will represent our country in the 1995 Miss Universe pageant coming up in the summer. Now, take the flowers, take the kisses, take the appreciation of the audience. The stage is yours. Chelsea Smith.
Well, on behalf of Daisy Fuentes and Chelsea Smith, Miss Texas, now Miss USA 1995, this is Bob Goins saying thank you and good night from South Padre Island in Texas. Good night, everybody. Portions of this program have been pre-recorded.